and they love to mix it up. Knox with four consecutive 100-yard games, and he'll get the call again, and he's got plenty of room. And when he wants to, he can turn on the Jets, and Knox will score. I mean, the vision of Brendan Knox, he found that hole. It looked like it was going to be a short game, blew it wide open. Struck first. Well, coming into this game, Mark, 122 points scored on the season, fifth most. That was probably the one thing that the Minutemen had success against Georgia Southern in their last game was when the pocket collapsed, the quarterback has enough athleticism to get out. Marshall goes on offense for the second time in this game. Had a drive starting at the 20, and Wells guns it across the middle, and Artie Henry. Mass might surprisingly have the advantage there potentially. Josh Wallace was on the coverage there as Knox gets another call, and down he goes. Good D there by UMass. Plan for Marshall is you know they hit you with so many different looks, so many different players. It's really hard to get settled in a game. They 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 just change it up. All right, two handoffs and a pass, and Coke has a man down at the 20 yard line. A big strike there by Coke. They're loud and they're proud. Coke and company ready to go following the timeout. Coke will roll, fires, and he's got his man. Touchdown, UMass, as Emilis will haul it in for the TD. Back able to get out, extend the play, a little bootleg slight, and just finds his man. With your receiver well covered. Second and 15 from the 24. Wells with the pocket collapsing will take off. And Grant Wells has the first down as he motors to the 42-yard line for the QB. And now back to Knox. And Knox weaves his way through traffic. And another first down for Marshall. That attack where they want to gash you for big yards on the ground. We saw it in that second Marshall drive earlier. Behind a guy that's 6'8", 309 pounds there, the left tackle. Fake it to Knox and Wells. Directing traffic there, but will be driven out of bounds. Mike Ruane makes the stop. A weapon running the football. And speaking of weapons, Knox will find the end zone for the second time here in this opening quarter. Well, we said in the pregame, Mark, a healthy dose of Brendan Knox, and that is just what the doc ordered. An 11 play 82 yard drive punctuated by Brendan Knox once again. I mean. Third down one, Merriweather gets the call. Merriweather loses the football. And I believe it's right in Beckett's hands and now it's loose again. You know, I sound like a broken record, but good field position again for the herd. Wells wants to keep and Wells upended. Second down five, football at the 19. Wells fakes it to Knox, and here's Gamage making the grab, and Gamage will find the end zone. Well, maybe that's the pick-me-up that this passing game needed right there because Grant Wells able to connect with Corey Gamage. Offense. Another look here, Jake. Coming back inside, making that catch, and then that resulted in Grant Wells and Corey Gamage hooking up for Another Marshall touchdown, and it will be Knox. Nine yard line, 7.35 to go here in the first half. Marshall leading UMass 21-7. Fake it to Evans, rifle it out on the near side to Henry, and Henry spinning around. And, well, Henry's dealt with all kinds of injuries in his career, Jake. Lefevre is the holder, Apio is the snapper, and Chuchi delivers from 43 yards away, and Marshall goes up 24 to seven. One for five today on third down. Coke will keep, and Coke's got the first down, and then some, Beckett tripped him up. Gain chunks of yardage on the ground. It's not just a passing game anymore as a QB. 
All right, they're going to pitch it to Cole, and then Cole is going to fire it. He's got a receiver at the 30-yard line. Chuchi hit a 43-yarder a moment ago for Marshall, and the kick is up, and it is good. Jeremy Martin, his first field goal of the season. On the job was against Akron. Ball at the 43, Grant Wells. Rifles across the middle, and Miller has the catch, and then Miller barrels over top of Tere Powell. Your UMass, you have to be better on the back end. I mean, that was too much space, too much time. Hand off to Sheldon Evans, and Evans breaking tackles to score it for the Thundering Herd. Just high step right out of those arm tackles. We see it right here, shakes out a one-arm tackle, two. A third, and high steps right into the end zone. And 10, football at the 35-yard line. So UMass have scored 10 here on the herd. Merriweather with the carry, and Merriweather got away from Nazi Johnson, and then finally taken down. Nice run by Merriweather. Now you could have third and short instead of third and medium. Seven-yard pickup, third down, six. Wells, what a grab made there by Henry. Oh, strong hands, too, to hold on to it. Continues to wind as we go under seven minutes. Gaines sliding. Gaines catching. Gaines scoring. Wells and Gaines on a 13-yard scoring play. I want it to be able to, to go after Gaines here, but boom, turns the Jets on. All he can do is just put a hand on him and watch him strut. Big play there for the Minutemen. Fresh set of downs. Coke fakes it to Roberson. Ball is loose and is picked up by Hodge. Hodge regains his composure. He'll be knocked to the ground by Johnson, but Hodge wants to see Marshall win. And that's why the Herd have been so successful this year. They have a bunch of guys that have bought in. Wells unleashes wide open and a <laughs> great catch by Gaines. Look, Ma, one hand, Xavier Gaines in the back of the end zone. Ah, that's beautiful right there. Here he is. I mean, let's see it again right here. Wells, beautiful job, goes through his progressions. Ah, that's a fantastic ball right there. Just the fact that you play and you stay on the minds of the voters. Coke faking. Firing out and nice grab, and the ball is loose once again. Jarred loose, goes out of bounds, and I believe UMass will dodge a bullet there. That gives Marshall an extra couple seconds to readjust their defense and plug guys in as needed. Coke is going to be taken down. Had no idea what was behind him, and Sam Burford, just one of many guys. A little hand check results in in a, a defensive P.I. So I understand the frustration of, of cornerbacks. All right, Knowledge McDaniel gets the call, and he's a strong kid. And Knowledge McDaniel going to go from the 46-yard line. Game of the year. We've talked all afternoon about the struggles they've had because of the COVID shutdown and things of that nature. Hand off to McDaniel. Burst of speed, and McDaniel will make it into the end zone from 14 yards out. And again, now five of Marshall's seven touchdown drives have been three minutes. Papillon is in the game, number four running back, and Luke Zaban played his high school ball right here in Huntington. He's got the football just like the old Huntington high days. They wore green, and how about Zaban taking him from the 50? Grant Wells, Zaban is not a statue in the pocket. He can run. This time he will look to throw, and he will be taken down here. And last year, speaking of that Liberty team, he had 73 yards against the Flames. Well, hey, I mean, Liberty's been a program that they, they've been good for a couple of years. They've been on the up and up as down goes to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Holliday and his crew, well, 51-10 victory here. See Greg Atkins, his great offensive line coach, Greg, great player here at Marshall. Well, business accomplished. Always a business-like 
affair. That's the way this coaching staff for Marshall and for UMass, they approach it. And today, the Thundering Herd, the successful team. Some thoughts from you on this one, Jake. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.